Welcome back everyone, this beautiful Sunday morning. I'm laughing because while I was trying to record this video, I missed my turn. <laughs> so I'm headed back to my turn right now, but the plan for today is very simple. There's another high peak up here in Northern Arizona called Kendrick Peak. That I'm very excited to climb. I've been here for over two years and I've never actually been to the top of it. And it's looking really special right now because all of the aspen are starting to turn. And uh, so I thought what a great way to spend a Sunday morning in brisk northern Arizona then climbing to the top of Kendrick Peak. And it looks like uh, this is not, also not the right road. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, I'm an idiot. Let's try this one more time. <laughs> oh my god. There's the turn, I see it now. Oh my gosh, I'm a doofus. <laughs> okay, take three. <laughs> so, we are on route to Kendrick Peak right now which is just behind these trees and it is looking really beautiful this morning. All the aspen up towards the top are starting to turn yellow and orange. It's just absolutely stunning. So I'm very much looking forward to hiking the trail up to the top. It's a 4.1 mile trail that, go, that climbs about 2,000 feet. So it is a, definitely a hefty climb uh, to the top. We should be able to get a really nice view of the mountain once we come around this corner. As I said, the, the top of the peak uh, is just covered with bright yellows and oranges and, and it's just, man, it's just magnificent. So, and it gives me a really good excuse to, to get out on the Himalayan as well. So, another beautiful little excursion for the weekend. All right, I can just see the flank of the mountain through the trees. I think we're gonna get a spectacular shot any second now. Oh yeah, we're coming up on it. I have never been back here. Uh, the, the lava tube that I explored a couple weeks ago, that's not too far from here. Oh yeah, look at that. Um, but uh, this is the first time First time over to Kendrick. There she is. Oh yeah. Looking beautiful. I'm excited. I've been wanting to climb this peak for a really long time. Kendrick Mountain, two miles. I love it. <laughs> There's a sign for the interstate. That's hilarious. Oh, looks like we're getting into some dirt now. Okay. We are really getting into the woods here. This is nice. Less than a mile to go to the trailhead. Uh, this is spectacular. I love this road. Uh, Kendrick Trail, boom. We are golden. Let's do this. Yes. All right. Um, I'm not sure which way we, I think we actually go this way. Yes. Yes. All right, let's get up to the trailhead. Sweet. Oh yeah, this has got to be it. Kendrick Trailhead. There we go. Boom, boom. There's definitely some folks up here. I'm not quite sure where I'm, where's the best place to park, but I guess we'll sort that out. All right. We are making our way up the trail. Just a little bit above the trailhead here. And I can already tell it's gonna be a marvelous day. 
I was just noticing through the trees up here that you can see the summit already and the tower. So let me pause for a quick second here. And if you look up through the trees there, you can see the tower right at the top up there. So that's where we're going. It really doesn't look that high from here, but it's close to 2,000 feet of climb still. So <laughs> we got our work cut out for us today. <laughs> oh yeah, I can feel that blood pumping. Feel that heart rate, heart rate of climbing. Check this out. That is a tarantula, I think. That is wild. Oh man, so cool. Whoa, look at that. Man, that's wild. So I'm not a big fan of spiders, but even still, that was so freaking cool. Wow, not what I was expecting to see. Climbing up Kendrick Mountain today. Doesn't look that bad from here. That's still a long ways. You can see some of the aspen changing up there. Pretty soon we should start getting into them. Really great way to release a lot of pent up anxiety and stress from busy work week. Just come out here, hike a trail like this, and what were there, like four cars in the parking lot? There's no one up here. I've passed one couple so far, and it's a Sunday. You'd think it would be jam-packed. View down into the valley is quite nice too. Those could be the start of some rain clouds. <laughs> we gotta keep an eye on those. All right, well, we're, we are over 9,000 for sure now. You can actually see the San Francisco peaks over there and the snowball ski slopes um, in the ever so ominous clouds forming over the mountain. So I am gonna pick up the pace here, but so far so good. All right, we're getting really close now. You can see the summit just right over there. You just gotta wrap around, go up another few hundred feet. So we are at 9,600. It's a nice view of Sitgraves Mountain out there and then Bill Williams back there. Very cool, let's get up there. Okay, looks like we're finally up on the ridge line, more or less. And the remaining hike will be probably just following the spine up to the top. There we go, just right there. We just have this little knob to go up and we are there. Oh, feels nice to just be strutting along somewhat flat here. That's cool, little cabin. Bunch of tight switchies right here at the top. And it's definitely gotten a bit rockier. So maybe this is what my friends were warning me about. All right. We made it. <laughs> oh, no way. Okay, hold on. Whew. Let's look this way first. We've got Sit Graves and Bill Williams Peak in the back there. Wing Mountain over there. San Francisco Peaks are right behind the tower. But let me turn your attention this way first to the amazing aspen on the north side of the mountain down there. Not sure you're gonna be able to see it, but way out there, there's a 
almost looks like a fire, wildfire burning. But there's a wall of limestone way out there that you can see, probably about 50 miles out. Very distinct. That is the north rim of the Grand Canyon. It's amazing that you can see it so clearly from here. All right, so up here at the top of Kendrick Mountain, and the views are amazing. Out this way, like I said, you've got Sitgraves and Williams. And then, of course, way out this way, you've got the north rim of the Grand Canyon out there. And it's just, oh, it's just beautiful. I mean, you've got all these aspen down there, and, and there's no one here. Got the whole mountain to myself. All right, well, I'm gonna sign off, eat some food, drink some water, and then uh, start the long bomb down back to the bike. Well, we're coming off the top now, and I think I think it might be time to open up a little bit. So let's do it. That's not a bad time, including all the stops. All right, we are heading out. That was a fantastic hike, fantastic run. Just an all around great time. And got to play on some dirt roads. I think I'm gonna take a little scenic detour on the way back and hit some really fun places and just enjoy another hour out on the bike. But I'm thrilled with how that turned out and it's Arguably now one of my favorite trails in town. I really really enjoyed that so Now let's play a little bit on the Himalayan on some of these roads and Yeah, try to stretch this Sunday out as long as possible <laughs> There's that sign for the interstate that just cracks me up every time all right, let's tear it up. <laughs> Good times. Well, I don't have a ton of battery left on my camera because I left my other batteries at home. So I'm gonna have to be uh, strategic in what I, what I decide to film. So I'm just gonna try and get some fun bits and when it runs out, it runs out. <laughs> so let's just enjoy the roads and the trails. That looks like a fun road. Oh yeah. So you know what we're passing right now is the lava cave that we just went to a couple weeks ago. It was right there. So we just uh, have come full circle <laughs> back to the lava tube. Fantastic. back home safe and sound, had a great day on the bike, an awesome day on the mountain. Got to see some amazing things today, including a native northern Arizona tarantula, something I was not expecting to see strolling along the trail today. Uh, but I also got to see some new views of some of the local peaks from a perspective I've never seen them from before. Got to see the north rim of the Grand Canyon from far away. So just really a neat day all in all. And I hope you enjoyed coming along for the hike and for the ride. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and be safe.